Hey guys, it's Steve here at Hankster's Hot Rods, and what we have here today is this beautiful 1966 Chevrolet Chevelle, and we're going to do a walk around on it, go over the uh, external components, interiors, so on, as we normally do. Um, as I always do, starting at the front. First thing you notice is the paint. It's a beautiful uh, red paint, sort of like a, almost like a candy apple. Uh, very smooth, very shiny gloss the whole way around. Just beautiful. Um, second thing you notice, as I always say, on all of our videos is the wheels and tires. Uh, it's got American Racing Aluminum Torque Thrust 2 wheels. Um, really gives it that like pro touring, uh, more like a modern take look there. We also have the stainless wheel well uh, moldings here at all four corners, of course. Coming up to our first gap, um, driver's side is the fender to door. Very even going down. You see our body line here and here lines up very nicely. And we also have the chrome rocker moldings, and of course that is on both sides. Um, coming up to our bright work here, a very good shape. We've got slight scratching here and there, but overall pretty good shape. And our driver's side windshield, no chips and cracks. Now our driver's side glass, no chips and cracks. Of course, these are slightly tinted. Coming up to our second gap driver's side, door to quarter panel. Very even going down. You can see our body line here and here lines up nicely and here as well. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the driver's side interior. So we get a good point of view here. You can see we have vinyl bucket seats front, bench, rear, seat belts front and rear as well. Our door panels and carpet are in great condition. Dash uh, also very nice. We got the white face autometer phantom gauges. Throughout, we have the carbon fiber inserts throughout the whole uh, instrument cluster area and passenger side of the dash as well. Like a modern look there. And we have the Keesler manual floor shifter for the five speed Tremec also there. Door jams also in great shape. Really nice interior. Come along, get our paint very nice up on the roof, coming down very shiny. Just a beautiful color. Coming back to our rear window. No chips and cracks, our bright work. Scratching a couple indentations here and here and along there, but overall not too bad. And you can see the speakers mounted in the package tray from this point of view as well. Our trunk gap, very nice and even, whole way around. Come along to the back. Um, one thing I'll say, we got our Super Sport emblems here and on the other side with the clone, uh, not a true SS, but um, has all the right badging there. Our rear bumper chrome, very nice condition. Uh, a couple little scratches here and there, but overall really nice. We got the dual exhaust sticking out down there at the bottom. Our tail light lenses are in good shape here and here. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open up the trunk and we'll go over everything inside here. Underneath here, uh, body color, our jam, is in good condition, no holes, rust or anything in there, very nice. Our weather stripping is all intact. Down here in the floor, floor looks really nice. You can see all the indentations are present. Your mount uh, here is present. The drain area is all present. And you've got a rough textured paint with a really nice splatter, like a teal color splatter, really dresses it up. Moving along. To the passenger side here, again, you can see our emblems here and the rocker molding, of course, on this side as well as the other side. Paint really glossy and shiny coming up through here. Now our passenger side glass, no chips and cracks. And these are also just like the other side, slightly tinted. Our gap from the quarter panel to door, passenger side, first gap, very even going down. You can see our body lines lining up nicely there. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to open up passenger side door. We're going to go through the interior on this point of view. See the carpet's very nice. Seats are in great condition. You can see the shifter and the dash. You can see that carbon fiber inlays there. Very nice. Dash pads are really in great shape. Seats back and front in very good condition. Door jams are in great shape as well. Moving along to our second gap passenger side. 
door to fender. Very nice and even going down. You can see our body lines lining up nicely there. Um, our passenger side of the windshield, no chips and cracks. Our hood gapping, cow area to hood, very nice going across and down. Coming up to the front, our bumper chrome, great shape just like the back bumper. Our grill, also in nice shape, I don't see any broken pieces on that. And our headlights and bezels, also in nice shape there. Uh, what I'm going to do now is pop the hood. We're going to go everything in the engine bay here. Engine bay under the hood and in the engine bay is in black. And what we have under here is a 350 Chevrolet uh, V8. Uh, we, it's a GM performance intake. We got GM performance aluminum heads. We have power steering. We have power brakes. As you can see, uh, we have an aluminum radiator with an aluminum reservoir. Uh, far better for cooling. Um, nice power plant here. Of course, the cooling it down really helps. We got the blacked out Chevrolet valve covers and the engine air cleaner with a Mallory distributor and the Summit Street Strip wires. A lot of nice additions on this. Nice little package here. Um, one thing we're going to add on here, thing that we've been adding on to a lot of our videos, um, we do do a lot more additions on uh, here at Hankster's Hot Rods now, such as if you want to do disc brake conversions, you want to do air conditioning, say like this vehicle does not have AC, but we can put it on it. Uh, we do vintage air kits here, we'll do digital gauges, exhaust, uh, wheels and tires, packages, stripes, so on. Um, if you see a car on our website and there's something you want to add on to it that's not there, just give us a call. We'll get you a quote. We can do that. Uh, you go on our website at www.hangsters.com. You can see our current inventory at our Homer City, Pennsylvania and Daytona, Florida locations. Um, if you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, just go on there, uh, hit subscribe. You can see more of our vehicles, more of our videos, a lot more information on there for you. I also want to mention we do do powertrain warranties here. Engine, transmission, and differential is what it covers. Internally lubricated parts only, three months or 3,000 miles. Um, we also include that and shipping in our prices of our vehicles on our website. Um, if there's anything else uh, you have any questions about, just give us a call at 724-471-2975. And yes, we do have financing for our vehicles. If you go on our website at www.hangsters.com, um, you'll see next to all of our vehicles, there's a financing tab. Just click on that tab, fill out the application, hit submit or enter down at the bottom, send it in to us, we take care of it from there. Um, but what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna take this car, lift it up in the air and show you the undercarriage. Hey guys, we got our 66 Chevy up in the air and we're gonna go through the undercarriage as we normally do uh, the components, frame, so on flooring. Starting at the front, uh, we have disc brakes the whole way around, front and rear disc brakes. Um, we have the aluminum wheels, which I pointed out earlier, and of course that is at all four corners. Um, we have the Nitto tires, and these are 245, 45ZR17s on the front, a little bigger on the back, and we'll go over that as we get back there. Uh, we do have a lot of Hotchkiss components on the car. Uh, we've got the Hotchkiss adjustable tie rod sleeves. We've got Hotchkiss coil springs front and rear. Um, and the rest of it we'll go over as we get back. We do also have a Hotchkiss sway bars front and rear as well. Um, our front cross member, nice and solid there, no holes or anything in that. Um, our control arms look to be of a stock style. I can see we got new ball joints up there, and well, newer. You can see the, uh, they look pretty good on the top there. Um, we do have the long tube headers, dual exhaust with long tube headers going into a crossover pipe in the dual flow master mufflers and uh, we'll address that as we get back there further. Our front frame sections, those look really good there and so does this side as well. Um, our transmission cross member, that's nice and solid, I don't see holes or anything in it. Of course, here we have our e-brake cables going back to both wheels. Our oil pan on our 350. Our rear main seal. Our case seals. An output seal on our Tremec transmission. Those are all nice and dry. There's no leaks there at all. I don't see anything there. They look really good. Um, 
We do have on our flooring here, you can see our cross bars are all present. We have our drains there and there. We do have, we have a couple floor patches. Looks like they were sealed up nicely. We've got one here and over here, all sealed up there. Um, here is our crossover pipe on our exhaust. The exhaust, of course, this is nice condition, looks to be newer. Um, we do have a uh, drive, drive shafts, I'm sorry, drive shafts, unlimited drive shafts, so that's obviously an aftermarket drive shaft there. Moving on back, of course, I do want to mention our center frame sections. As we work our way back, that looks good as well. Coming back here, here's our dual flow master mufflers. The tailpipe come up over the axle and out the back on either side of the fuel tank. Our input seal and our differential seal at our 12 volt differential, those are both dry. I don't see any leaks at those either. And we do have a chrome differential cover. Now addressing the back here, we do, as I said, we have a lot of Hotchkiss components back here as well. We have the Hotchkiss trailing arms on both sides. We have the Hotchkiss springs back here as well. We have the adjustable Hotchkiss sleeves up here. And we also, as I said, have the Hotchkiss rear sway bar back here as well. So a lot of nice Hotchkiss components on here. Good for handling, stability, uh, very well-known company. Those are good quality products. And also, as I'd said, we got disc brakes on the back as well. Our fuel tank, our straps look really good in the front and back here in the rear, they look good as well. And our tank, of course, is covered in a black paint and that looks good also. And here is our tailpipe coming out on either side. Back in the back, our shocks look to be of stock style. Uh, flooring up above the differential looks good. And of course, our rear cross member up here looks nice as well. All in all, it looks pretty good on here. Uh, what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to drop it down and fire the engine up so you can hear it run.